When in California, of course, convertibles are an essential, like this SLS AMG Roadster. But I'm not here to see this car. I'm here to see a world premiere of another convertible, also by AMG, namely the new SLK 55 AMG. As the SLK is a very compact car, it of course enhances its agility. But when AMG get their hands on any car, the results are usually mind-blowing. Now, this one, the SLK 55, has a staggering 422 brake horsepower. And you can imagine what the result must be. Talking about cars is nice, but it's all about the driving. So I'm gonna head up to Laguna Seca to try out the new SLK 55. It's finally the grown-up version of the SLK. It's actually, to me, by the looks, it's a little bit more of a baby SL, but that is a positive thing because it's shorter, it's compact, and it makes it look muscular and very nimble. And with a little lip in the back, and of course, the double exhaust that every AMG has, you know this car is made for some serious driving. first impression of the SLK 55 is very positive. First of all, it's very well manufactured. And I already feel that I'm sitting in a go-kart. And that is a good feeling. Yet this go-kart doesn't transmit all the bumps in a way that is unpleasant. You do have direct control. The steering is very direct. You feel the road, yet it's not uncomfortable. So I would say this is pretty much the most comfortable go-kart I have ever been in. And the throttle response is very direct. It's wonderful. The sound of the engine is magnificent. And anyone who's ever had a bad thought about the SLK will definitely change their mind. The new SLK even in the standard version, is an excellent little roadster. Listen to the engine. Truly impressive. If I had the choice, this would be my car for the weekend. Fritz, you have a very, very unique um, device that kind of changes the characteristics of the engine. For what purpose and how does it work? Yes, that's what uh, we try to do, to use clever technologies to reduce the fuel consumption and the result is that we achieve that with the cylinder deactivation. Okay. It's the same technology as it's used in the Formula One. The trick is uh, we deactivate four cylinders during driving, especially in uh, the C mode. And is it noticeable when you suddenly only have four cylinders? Does the driver actually notice it? No, you won't notice anything. It's just a small sound like a woof. So what happens if I'm on four cylinders and suddenly I want to overtake a car? Uh, how quickly does the car go back to the V8? It's only 30 milliseconds and the car is back again in the V8 modus and uh, you won't recognize it because you just uh, floor the pedal and the 8 engine is there okay. like a lightning coming out <laughs> from a blue sky. This is how easy it is to convert your little coupe into a fully fledged convertible. All you have to do is pour the lever in the middle console and the sky is all yours. That's it from California and the SLK 55. Enough talking. Now it's my time to enjoy the beautiful scenery and the car. So long.